there welcome back to my youtube channel you see this very beautiful face my name is juliet i'm a piercing test of english studio and all i do here is to bring you tips tricks and strategies on how you can pass your piercing test of english now if this sounds like the tutorial you're looking for please stay tuned in today's video i'll basically be answering certain questions i have received recently and uh, these questions might be the same questions on your mind so i would want you to sit down and listen to these questions and listen to my responses to this question now the first on my list now is um does pte repeat questions in the exam now pte is piercing test of english is an english exam that um you write for your migration or study purpose okay so um yeah they do repeat questions sometimes not 100 percent they might just repeat one or two questions in an entire exam remember they have different um 20 different question types in the entire exam so sure they might repeat question but we don't know where they will repeat the question that is the task that these questions will be repeated on all uh, like all um the question that they'll be repeating okay so what i would say is yes the answer is yes they do repeat questions however it's better you know the skills the trick the tips the tips and strategies that you need you need to arm yourself with before you go in to write this exam now i do hear people say um they go to memorize questions especially in the reading and writing fill in the blanks now i would say to you that um, it's it will not be wise for you to memorize past questions the best thing you can do for yourself to help yourself is to know the tips and strategies for these different question types that makes it very easy for you on exam day so yes piercing does repeat questions in their exam but nobody knows the questions nobody know the tasks that you'll be repeating the questions on so know what you're supposed to do and give it your best on exam day now the second question here is juliet uh, can i do the piercing test of english at home <laughs> so some months ago i was privileged to attend the piercing test of english meeting the owners of the exam sent me an email and I was privileged to be part of that meeting. And one of the questions that they responded to was this question now that is being asked here, if one can write the piercing test of English at home. Of course you can. However, what I picked up from that meeting that day was you cannot write the exam if you're considering the exam or the score for migration. So that, that, does that mean that if you're, if you're a student and you want to write the PT exam you can do it at home maybe but what they just said that day was you can't write the exam um, at home if you're going to be using it for migration so um, yeah you can write the piercing test of English at home but another thing is if you go to their website you also see that there are some specifications that you you would need or that has to be put in place before you can write the exam at home also it will be wise of you to find out if your school who need that piercing test you wrote at home or whatever you want to use it for except for migration whatever you want to use it for find out if they don't mind if you write the piercing test of english at home and also find out if you have the equipment necessary equipment or necessary specification that is required of you before you can go ahead to write this exam at home now this exam costs like 185 australian dollars here in inclusive of tax okay so you know you need to put in um certain things in place you need to really find out make solid inquiries before you go sit at home and say i want to write this test at home okay make these solid inquiries before you take that decision and of course the answer is yes you can write the piercing test of english at home but not for migration purpose maybe for other purposes but they didn't say so you can find out that on their website or send them an email to verify now the third question I'll be answering here is there any scoring like the partial kind of scoring yes now one of the in this pte score guide one of the kind of scoring they have is the partial scoring or partial credits as some people call it now just as the name go partial uh, it means that uh, there are some questions that they would ask you if you do not get everything that is required of you you will not get all the answers you will not get all the scores to that question so if you do not give the right responses you will not get all the um all the scores for that particular question for instance the repeat sentence which is the second task in the pte speaking 
you know, they'll give you a sentence like, you must submit your assignment by 6 p.m. next week, Tuesday. Now, if you say you must submit your assignment by next week, Tuesday, you've already missed 6 by 6 p.m., then you said next week, Tuesday. Now, that's one, that word you missed might make you lose some scores. Remember that the repeat sentence will also give um, scores, not just to the speaking module. It will also impact your listening module heavily. So I don't, I can't sit back here and say, oh, this particular question you missed out can take out five marks or 10 marks. But just know that for the repeat sentence, the read aloud and some other questions in the Pearson test of English, partial scoring happens. And it happens because you do not, you, may, you might not have given all the right responses to a question. So they take out some of the scores and still award you some scores. So that's why I will say um, it's good you know the tasks that have partial scoring, the, the tasks that have um, um, correct or incorrect, you know, so that you know what to do. You put in your best in those tasks. So these are very important questions that I'm responding to today. And the last on this list today will be um, the personal introduction for the Pearson test of English. Is it scored? Now, if you, in case you haven't done this exam before and you're wondering which one is personal introduction, now, the personal introduction is a question they ask you before you start the exam proper, before you do the speaking module. Now, this personal introduction, they just want to know why you, who you are and why you want to write the Pearson test of English. Now, some people said, or rumor has it that it's scored. For me, I don't think it's scored because, I mean, I've written the exam a couple of times and I just go say something like, oh, my name is Juliet and uh, I'm just writing this Pearson test of English because... Uh, I just want to try my skills here or, or I want to use it for migration purpose, you know, those kind of things. Now, I don't think it impacted my score in any way. Personally, I think that the reason why they ask, they tell you to do a personal introduction is just for them to ease your tension. Yeah, you know, because you're already tense, you're scared, you don't know uh, what to expect, you don't know if your microphone is going to be 100% um, responsive to you. There's so many things that Put you on the net or that puts you on the edge okay so i feel that one of the reasons why they make you do personal introduction before the exam starts properly is just for you to ease tension and secondly too to make you remember the purpose that you're writing this exam okay because some of us just go in there and forget that this exam costs money okay and not just it costs money forget the purpose that we are writing it, we just want to throw all caution to the wind and all that. So they, for me, the first reason is they just want to ease, make you ease tension, ease of that fright. And the next one is just to put your reason for writing the exam right in front of you, make you to be focused so you don't lose track or lose time of why you're there. So these are the few questions I got recently uh, for the testing test of English. Now, if you have more questions, do not hesitate to put it in the comment section or find me on Instagram at English underscore prep class. You can send me those questions and you know what? Yours truly will be very willing to respond to you. I know you, all of you have so many questions that you ask. I mean, people come into my DM to ask me so many questions. Do not hesitate. Of course, I'm not here to laugh at you. I'm here to help you out, answer your question on piercing test of English. Now, remember to hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Remember to like this video. Remember to leave your comments and I'll respond to your comments. And there's a super thanks button. Remember to super thanks me. Of course, I know I'm doing a good job on this space. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.